Jewel Chow are a special type of Chow that appeared in the first Sonic Adventure. The easiest ones to obtain were the gold and silver Chow eggs, which were hidden in the shop at Station Square and behind the waterfall at the Mystic Ruins. In the Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure 2, you could obtain these by using the online black market. And in the GameCube version, you had to use the tiny Chow Garden from the Sonic Advance games and transfer them over using a GBA link cable. The jewel eggs there can cost anywhere between 500 and 20,000 rings. Now, in the HD ports, it's pretty much impossible to obtain normally, but the textures for Jewel Chow are still in the game, and we can add them to our gardens using mods. In this video, I'll show you three ways you can get Jewel Chow on the Steam version of Sonic Adventure 2. The first two are very popular mods, while the third one will be a fairly new tool. All the download links you will need will be in the video description. I'll start with my personal favorite one. One of the two biggest Chow Garden mods is Enhanced Chow World. This mod adds a ton of handy features to Chow World, but the best one is easily the options menu. Pressing select or back on your controller will bring up this menu, which will allow you to do things like quick save, back up your chow, teleport somewhere, or buy items and eggs. If you open the egg shop, you'll see that you can purchase literally any color tone of chow, including jewel. They are pretty expensive to buy, but it wouldn't be much fun if you didn't earn it, right? Buying an egg here will Amazon one second deliver it to you. Next is the second of the two biggest Chow mods, Chow World Extended. This mod also adds a ton of features to Chow World, and I mean a lot. One of the many features it adds is the ability for Chow who are wearing a medal it earned from winning one of the jewel races, a 50% chance to lay a jewel egg of that type. The other 50% will be of a different fixed jewel, since there's not a chow race for every jewel in this game. But if you go to the mod page, you'll see more conditions on getting the one you want. For example, this is my chow galaxy, currently wearing the onyx medal. This means there will be a 50% chance the egg it lays will be an onyx jewel egg, and the other 50% will be an amethyst egg. Just make sure to go into the mod configure page and turn this option on. If you want a 100% chance to get an egg of a certain jewel, you can just go back and beat level 5 of that jewel race, and you'll get the egg as a reward. But it won't give it to you if you already have a chow of that jewel, or your gardens are completely full. Finally, you can use K2's Chow Editor. It's a very easy tool to use that you run alongside Sonic Adventure 2 to edit pretty much anything you want and is compatible with both Chow World Extended and Enhanced Chow World. In the editor, you can go to the Chow tab while in the Chow World and select the Chow on the left side, click Appearance, and you'll be able to edit its texture to any of the Jewel Chow found in the game files, as well as some weird ones like the Skull texture. This will only change its outer appearance, so if you want to get more in depth, go to to the genetics tab and change the texture to the same one you chose on appearance. Now you can experiment with breeding Jewel Chow. And there you go, those are the three best and honestly the most common way to get Jewel Chow in your gardens nowadays. As I mentioned, all the links you need to try one of these methods will be in the video description. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments which Jewel Chow you will be going for first.